What is one piece of advice you would have given to yourself back in 2019 when we last spoke? One piece of advice? Um, I would have said, and who's to say that my younger self would have even listened to this, don't focus so much on what other people are doing. And you're doing fine. Even if you feel like you could be doing this, you could be doing better, like you're doing amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's been something that's been so hard for me in this industry, especially with social media and everything. It's just constantly kind of being thrown in your face, what everyone else is doing, whether good or bad or whatever. And you take that into account, even if you are trying not to, it's like subconsciously, I can't help but compare myself to other people's journeys. And there's a lot of factors that go into like a personal journey or career. And I think I've just focused a lot on how can I emulate this person and not so much just being proud of myself or or being proud of my own accomplishments or pursuing and thinking about what can I do to make myself happier Mm -hmm. or to make my own career better that doesn't have to do with X, Y, Z person. So I'd say just just hang on because things are going to get better. Well, life is ups and downs, but they will eventually be you'll be on like a higher level and just in every aspect of life um, and just focus on yourself because you're doing amazing, Speedy. <laughs> That's what I would say. I love that. Yeah, Yeah, I can totally relate. That like FOMO, scrolling through Instagram and seeing, yeah, everything that everybody else is doing. You have to also consider too that everybody only ever puts like their best face forward on Instagram. Including myself. Well, Yeah, including myself too. Like for the most – there are some people that I generally don't talk about like the bad things that are going on in my life usually sometimes. But um but yeah, I know what you mean. I, I have to say, like, embarrassingly enough, even at, at my age, the only thing that took me out of that was having a kid. Mm-hmm. That was the only thing that made me go, I don't actually really care about winning right. an AVN ward now. Like, eh. Yeah. You know? But it took that. Like, I couldn't even, like, talk my, you know, I yeah. couldn't grow as a person enough to, you know, have this kind of spiritual barrier around me where like I don't care what anyone else is doing like I'm doing great on my own well it's I mean it's (laughs) nearly impossible I think it's you'd struggle to find someone that's completely you know focused on themselves and not having any type of like input or hearing anyone else's voice um but I think having a kid is just a huge part of growth like I think if I'm ever to be a mother one day I think that, you know, I can't imagine being the same as I was before because it's just I already think about it. And like I do want to be a mother one day and I already think about um, how some of the things that matter so much now or they seem like they do are just going to be completely irrelevant one day. Like as much as I love, um, you know, performing and competing for awards and the fun and the buzz of like award season and the recognition. I just know that there are things in life that are more important. And this year in particular, I hit a rock bottom in my life where I was, I realized like, I'm not okay. I need help. Um, so I got it. And ever since then, that was about three months ago. I kind of, uh, Things are just in a different perspective for me. Like, I still love this industry and I'm grateful for everything it's given me, but it's not my life. Mm -hmm. It's not my life. Um, It's not the only thing that matters in my life. And I know that there will be a day in the future when I'm not actively working in this industry anymore and I'm still going to be happy. I'm still going to matter. The work I've done is not going to be like obsolete or for nothing. I know that people will continue to enjoy it and I will continue to go on and pursue new things and figure out what is life about Mm -hmm. so yeah I definitely this year have finally calmed down a little bit I feel like there's this giant balloon or this bubble that my whole career has kind of just been inflating and me just feeling like oh my god like there's so much stuff in this bubble like so much I'm holding inside and like stuff I just need to push down because I just need to focus on work and doing well and winning awards. And that balloon popped and now all that stuff is coming out. So I, now I'm like in the process of collecting everything and figuring out what I'm going to do with it. 
But I think that that's so admirable. And that's part of the journey of life is that we all hit that. I think we all get to a place at some point in our life where we're like, wow, I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is to do something about that. Right. It's the people who sit and stew in their misery and their not okayness yeah. and who don't like take active measures to get through that because we're all going to hit that at some point. So it's about like what you do with that, you know, and what you yeah. do to get through it. Yeah. And uh, I didn't want to feel that way anymore. I was like, you know, I there's nothing in my life that is so – terrible that I should be feeling this way. So why do I feel this way? And then I realized it wasn't because of anything in my life. It's because of me and my relationship with myself. So I've just been working on that for the past few months and it's completely changed everything, put so many things in perspective and filming stars was definitely that. And then, um, pursuing, I don't know how to word it or how to call it. I'm, I'm in recovery mm -hmm. for codependence. Okay. Um, so it's been three months of that and that and the film, they kind of like, well, filming stars, it unpacked a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff came up and that made me feel like I'm not okay. I need to deal with all this stuff that has made me who I am. And some of it is going to be really hard, but I need to deal with that if I want to feel happy in life at yeah. any point. Um, so those two things, it's, I don't want to call it like divine intervention, but the fact that I felt like I hit my rock bottom right around the time when we were filming the movie and all that stuff started coming and I was able to like really just dive in and start realizing like what I went through and that I need to deal with it. It couldn't have happened at a better time. And, and now I finally feel like things are getting better and I'm feeling really happy. Yeah. It's funny how the universe works, huh? Very funny. And I'm grateful 